Hey everyone, Matt from Workshop Tinkers here. Before I forgot this, I wanted to make sure everyone was aware of this trick. If you're doing a mostly printed CNC and you're from the United States, most likely chances are you're going to decide on getting three quarters uh, conduit, electrical conduit. This is galvanized steel conduit, hollow tube. Um, it's not that thick of a wall, but surprisingly rigid for a mostly printed CNC router. Uh, I want to get two things out. Why call it a router? It's not a mill. This is not a mill. Um, I'm pretty sure the guy who designed this would admit, would agree. This is a router. It's meant for wood and soft metals and it's not super high precision. That's why I call it a router instead of a mill. And I would call this a router as well. This doesn't have enough oomph for steel and higher metals and it's not that precise just because there's too much flex in these even though you can't really tell from just pulling on them. Anyways, the main reason why I wanted to do this was you got a lot of this to cut and I don't know about you but I'm not that accurate with a hacksaw but I figured out a cheapo Harbor Freight pipe cutter this is meant for copper pipe, maybe brass. Uh, it, it's cheap, it's crappy, it's not very good. Uh, I don't know if this thing comes, this thing has um, replaceable blades available, but this one's getting dull. This is five dollars or something like that from Harbor Freight, but it works great for conduit if you're gentle. So barely any pressure. See how it's scoring a line? Just work your way. Got to get enough pressure that stays in the same line. So I've actually got two lines right there. You just want to work your way back and forth. If it's sharp, you don't have to worry about this nearly so much. But the tricky part is just getting it past the slightly out of roundness. Making sure it lines up exactly with your previous. If it doesn't move, I found out conduit's not that precise. If you get it close enough, it will jump. So, uh, where was that? Let's see if I can show you. Can't really see it, but it did jump right there. I can see it, I'm not sure if you can see it. But anyways, little bit of tightness. Go the whole way around, it'll loosen up. This is slightly out of round. I can feel it, though I'm sure you can't see it. I've probably got two twists. Uh, if it's too hard to do, just loosen her up. Get it so it can go around. Loosen her up. Go or tighten her up just enough to go around. Tighten her up. This is steel on steel. It is hardened against mild, though. So this is why it's working at all. This is how I cut every single piece for my CNC, my mostly printed CNC, my MPCNC. Does this have downsides? Yeah, um, I do now need to buy a new one of these or a new cutter. Probably a new whole thing because I had to hit it with a hammer a few times because I did some things I shouldn't have and yeah, it no longer was cutting anywhere near straight because I made a mistake. Don't over torque these things. <laughs> but you can see, see down in there, there's a line. I can't show you. My fingers don't fit in there. But you can see in the center, there's a line showing up. That means it's just, it is working, is deforming the metal instead of really cutting it. But there it goes. It just cut. There it went. And that will give you a darn near square cut as in almost exactly square and if you do it right right on your pencil mark for the length so that was a scrap piece of conduit i had left over from making this but it works for every single cut on this thing just want to throw it out there while i was thinking of it try to make people who try to make it easier for all those of you who are like me just found out about this printer and would like to build one yourself. 
does make it a lot easier to do precision cuts on these long pieces or even the short pieces on the corners. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Keep tinkering.